Shields up, Iron Breakers. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're all doing good. Hopefully you're ready for some more Monster Hunter World. Because that is obviously the plan for today. Now, I was working on some thumbnails yesterday. So I swapped my Palico armor, but we're probably going to be looking for a new armor set for him before we get started. Hello there. What do you want? Ooh, Gajalaka. But I think we only get to recruit them when we get to the... When we get to the Elder's Recess, if I remember correctly, which we're not quite there yet. So a lot of people yesterday were asking me about the, uh, the whole Asmongold thing. Seems that a lot of those people have been enjoying the latest vid that I posted on the channel, huh? <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, that's been an interesting thing. So, you guys can expect more of those. By the way, I've been, um, I've been looking over the comment section of that video. And... People have asked me for... Wait, I have some stuff here. What? Bro, why do I always get texts literally the second I start the stream, dude? It's the most frustrating thing ever. Anyway, as I was saying, I was looking over the, um, the comment section of that video. Ricard, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Happy New Year, White Walker. And it's like, look, one of the things that I want to react to is Anjanath. People were saying I need to check out Odogaron, Lake Yana, Rathalos, Diablos, Basel, and Nergigante. So that's like six more videos already. It's like, bro. We're gonna take it easy though, because I don't want to like transform the channel. All of a sudden, it's like all we do, all we do is Asmongold reacts. Like, no, no, no. But we will be doing some of it. We will be doing some of it. Okay. This Valhazak fight is definitely worth a react. Okay, fine. I'll I'll add Valhazak because I've also heard that one yesterday. I'll add it to the list. We'll see. This is like, bro. I'm going to I'm going to be like a, an Asmongold react channel if I if I bump it like that. So it's going to be nice and smooth. I want to have my own gameplays on here. As a matter of fact, later today, I have a very special video for you guys. Later today, because yesterday another thing that people were asking me about, Rick, have you seen the new gameplay for Dragon's Dogma 2?" So today we went ahead and I already went through that video. I analyzed the ever-living crap out of it. And there's a lot of friggin' good stuff in the new gameplay, dude. There's a lot of stuff in the new in the new Dragon's Dogma 2 gameplay. Oh my god. Like, let me just tell you guys, the thing that impressed me the most about the new Dragon's Dogma 2 gameplay is that now, um, when you grab onto monsters, it is much easier to just let go and remain on the monster. And that is really good. You actually don't have to worry too much, Regal Eagle. All of the fights are basically like, it's three Cyclopses and an Ogre. That's it. All they show is like some class abilities. And even then, it's like the people that were playing were allergic to using class abilities or something. Because they only really used class abilities on the on the sorcerer. Because, like, well, we got to use class abilities to show spells. But, like, on the other classes, like, you get to see almost no abilities at all. <laughs> hey, Lumpy, what's up? He's actually live right now. Who? Asmongold? Is he playing Monster Hunter? No way. No, he's not. He's not live right now. What the hell? You guys are lying to me. Don't lie to me. 
I was like, this is way too early for him to be alive. 145,000 people playing Monster Hunter right now? Let's take a look at the Steam charts. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Let's go. Six year old game, by the way. No engagement systems, by the way. No predatory microtransactions, by the way. Just throwing it out there, and, and exactly, just like people are saying in chat, this is only on Steam. Only on Steam. We're not even talking about Xbox, where the game has been. I don't know if it's still on Game Pass, but it has been on Game Pass. So the numbers there are probably even more impressive. And then there's also PlayStation, because the game has also been a part of PlayStation Plus, I think. So yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, dude. It's like, you know, there's a tweet that I put out not that long ago where I said, you know, it's almost like a good game is all it takes. All you need is a good game as opposed to a bunch of stupid ass engagement systems. All you need is a good ass game. God damn. Six years after, dude, this is insane. Can we get can we get some likes on the stream for that, by the way? Monster Hunter World breaking its 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 records consistently almost every other day. Hit that like button. Helps out immensely. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, Zach. Unfortunately, I do not have a playthrough for when Monster Hunter World was released because I streamed the whole thing on Twitch. And Twitch deletes its VODs. Which is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to play this game without Iceborne installed. Good luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy wants a Gyros Fang. Sure, and we'll get millionfold cabbage. Oh, man, here we go. Okay, <clears throat> let me warm up my throat. Did you guys know that um, a good friend of mine, Sidestrafe, he told me that like one of the best warm-ups that you can do to your voice, because he's, he's working on being a voice actor and all that. One of the best warm-ups that you can do is actually the troll guy. You go like and apparently that's a good warm-up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. <clears throat> now. You interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? Now that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest, chef quest, pump to the liver, and we'll get them menu so jacked, you won't be able to lift it! You want the gains? You want the glory? Then deliver the goods. Don't let me down. Deliver four forgotten fossils. That's actually annoying as hell, dude. That's real annoying. By the way, guys, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I'm coming up to a time in my life. I'm having a crisis of faith. I'm having a crisis of faith, team. I think I might be becoming a gunlance man. An, uh, a charge blade main man. This, this is like, bro, this is some, uh, woof. Rui, are you using AV1? No, uh, not on this stream. I used AV1 on the, on the stream that I did, the night mode stream. I can't do it on this one because the, the GPU that I have on my streaming computer is not good enough for AV1. I am, however, using H.265, and the game itself is being rendered at 4K, and then it's being uh, downscaled to 1440p for the YouTube stream. That's why it might look sharper 
than other 1440p streams that you might have seen. Oh no, Rui, don't lose your faith. What's your normal main? My usual main is Gunlance. It's like, bro, Charge Blade's just been feeling so good, dude. Listen, last night I did I did a, a couple of hunts on on Sunbreak on PC with Elemental Charge Blade. <laughs> And it's like a really old set that I have on there. It's not it's not it's not even like upgraded to the current stuff that you can craft in the game. But bro, Valkana was the next monster that I was supposed to do on my PC save. Bro, that Valkana had a bad fucking time, dude. She had a bad fucking time, dude. It was not a good time for that Valkana. Like I said, it's not even a meta set. And every time I landed an SAD, you're talking about 350 damage a file? A fire damage? Bro, that leg Yana was having a bad fucking day. <laughs> she was having a bad day. Oh my god. Oh man. But it's like... Charge Blade is just like, it's just hitting different right now, you know what I'm saying? What do we got? Um, you need a delivery of what? Juratodos! Okay, that's for the waterproof. What have you got? This thing's gotten interesting over here. Materials from those powerful monsters are- Okay, so... We are... Talking about, like, new armors and stuff. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We get a free attack deco? I forgot about that. Noise. So we should start having high rank armor. Holy crap, holy. Okay. Is it armor review time? I don't, I don't think it is. I think it's like most of these are like variations on sets that I've already talked about. There's like leather sets, cool. Chain main's fine. Hunters is good. Uh, bone. We don't want bone, we want the other one, right? There's another one. Let's take a look at skills. That's the most important thing right now. Hunger is this we got an artillery. What? There's an artillery in leather? Oh no, it's my necklace. It's my necklace, never mind. There's only there's always gonna be one artillery there. Bum bum. We got one guard on the chainmail. Slinger capacity and stealth. Oh, I hate slinger capacity. I hate it because eventually I had to start using it because of the gun lance. We got three attack boosts. We got slugger on here. Slugger could be useful. Slugger and attack boost on gloves. That's actually pretty good. I think I might just craft that. I think I might just... No, because I think my current gloves give me artillery, so I can't do it. I wish I could. Where you wish I could say I agree with skill blow to exist, but in Iceborne, you count each skill and armor, calculate the slots given. Fatalis destroys the rest of the armor set. Fatalis set is the only one that has skill blow. You're not entirely wrong. You're not entirely wrong. Thank you very much for the souls, Chaos Wolf. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you. I mean, Fatalis set is kind of like one of the main reasons why I stopped playing the game. Because I like playing the game to optimize my character. And while that remains fun, I probably would never stop doing it. But the moment that Fatalis set released, I was like, well, this isn't fun anymore because every set is four pieces of Fatalis plus some other random bullshit. Thoughts on Skateboard being the next Monster Hunter weapon class? No thanks. Heart pass. I'll take no part in that discussion. Oh, we can get focus and affinity sliding. I kind of do want to get focus for the charge blade. We got the Gajal legs. Puke set. That's pretty useless. Zora! We get blast attack from Zora, which is good. 
But it's like Bombardier. I don't care that much about Bombardier. I thought Zora had like... I thought Zora had like artillery on it for some reason. Wait, what's the set bonus? Critical status. Okay. What was that? Increase abnormal status effects damage. Okay, so this is very good for blast. Uh, wait, this, is, this also works for poison. No? Doesn't this work for poison as well? Yeah, paralysis, poison, sleep, blast. When li oh, never mind. Never mind. This is for the buildup. This is for the buildup when landing crits. This is worthless. Uh, what are the set? What are the skills on this? Okay, so there's nothing really that I want that much. So we're all good. Um, what do I need to upgrade my artillery charm? Warped bones and an anginath plate. So warped bones should be easy to come by as we move through uh, high rank. So what we really need is to go do high rank anginath and beat the living sh shit out of him. It's just that simple. We just beat the ever living shit out of him. Do I have any? No, we don't have any deco slots. That's fine. So I don't know which armor set I'm going to be crafting yet. I do remember that Dorogama was pretty good. I don't remember exactly when Dorogama is going to show up. Brocky was also fairly good, if I remember. Or was that Raging Brocky? Maybe that was Raging Brocky. I forget. I think Raging Brocky had, like, the secret artillery stuff. Which is really good. Really good. But let's go over to the, to the resource stuff and see what we got. Oh, that was for Forge, not Upgrade. Never mind. I fucked that up. My bad. Okay, I can't complete any of this. <clears throat> so I need to kill a Gyros. I need to kill a Juratotus. I need to kill two Juratotus? No, this is just pending. Never mind. I'm stupid. Yeah, I need a Gyros and a Juratotus. So I need to get those done as fast as I can. Now let's also register some bounties. We got a hunt in the Wildspire Wastes. Let's get some mining outcrops up in here. Well, let's just get large monster hunt, actually. That's even better. All right. That's looking good. We need to be searching for Rathian tracks, so we'll do that while we do optional quests. It's perfect. Bum, 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 bum. Master Rank Zora has Artillery Secret. That's what I was thinking about. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. We're going to eat the event food. I'm going to get me some event food, brother. I love you, but I want some event food. Hey, Jamal Ahmad, what's up? All right. What do we got for us? Quest Lass? Hot and creamy? Sounds good. Okay, so we're doing this now. So all of all we're missing here is probably some arena quests, some other random stuff. So I'm not in any rush to, to go do these. This is whatever. I might do these later for completion's sake, but right now we have bumped to the liver. What is this? We got to get uh, four forgotten fossils. And we'll hunt for some... Um, We'll hunt for some footprints while we're there, too. Uh, we'll start at the top. Looks like at the top is the easiest spot to go get this. In the meantime, give me the winter star platter! Give me the foods! Hey, Wada. Listen, Wada, I got some bad news, brother. I think I'm going to have to become a charge blade main. All right? It is what it is. 
I think it is what it is, Wada. One forty a.m. here in Australia, but I want to watch the stream. You can always watch the VOD later, too. But I appreciate your dedication, sir. Your service is appreciated. Yo, I've seen your recent video from the Asmon Gold community. Surprisingly, my first and only game is Rise. I'm going to start playing World. Good. I hope you enjoy it. World is friggin' awesome, dude. But Rise is also awesome. Like, I keep seeing this discourse from people. Like, I made the video about Monster Hunter World versus Monster Hunter Rise. And for starters, there were a lot of people that didn't watch the video because they were like, you know, they go into the video and they're like, yeah, World is the better game. And I was like, you didn't watch it. Or they go into the video and they're like, I can't believe that you would relight this discussion. Oh my God. It's like, okay, can you guys, like, watch the video before we get into discussions about this? Or is that just not a thing that we do anymore? Because my conclusion at the end of that video is basically like, look, both, ga both games are amazing. And one of the things that I appreciate about the Monster Hunter series look, is the contrast. Trail again. Because that means that we can get cool, immersive games like Monster Hunter World. And then when we finish that experience, we can also get... The portable, more action, more arcade, more off-the-wall games like Rise and Sunbreak. I think, to me, that is the perfect balance. You serve two different audiences that also share a decent intersection. And basically, you keep the series somewhat fresh instead of constantly iterating on top of it. To me, perfection. That is exactly what I want from Monster Hunter. And it makes me very happy. And I think that people who start putting one game down because they like the other more, I think those people are weird, dude. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I get it that you don't like Rise or whatever, but you don't have to say that Rise is a bad game. <clears throat> Ruri, I truly believe Wilds is a Switch 2 launch title. It's doing a pretty bad job if it's a Switch 2 launch title, considering Switch isn't even on the launch trailer. But okay. Hey, listen. The more platforms, the merrier. That's the way that I look at it. If it's on the Switch, I'll be a happy boy. I'll probably even buy it on both platforms if it supports cross-progress. Chaos Wolf, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate support. Fatalis Beta comes with a level sk 11 skills base and a total of 30 skill slots available. Level 4 Decos gives 2 skills each. The Weapon F4 is more skill slots. No other set in the game competes. Agreed. This is one of the reasons why I don't like the Fatalis set. I understand that a lot of players feel like, well, I just want to be done with the game, so I just get the Fatalis set and you get a sense of closure. The thing is, I don't necessarily need that sense of closure. I don't need... A set that beats all sets. <clears throat> and in that aspect, for all the criticism that I have for... Actually, let's hunt this guy. Because we need a fang from him anyways. So we'll just get rid of him. Um, wait, this is a timed quest. Uh, that'll be a waste of time. I'm not going to do that. Wait, wasn't it Gyro's fang and not Great Gyro's fang? I forget. Let's kill a couple of high rank Gyro's. As opposed to the great Gyros and just carve those. Get him, boys! Get him! Oh, I think there's about to be a. Uh... I think the volume's louder than normal. I might need to nerf it a little bit. Yeah, this should be good. Okay, now listen here, brother. Listen here, brother. I'm gonna need you to vacate the premises. You understand me? What is this? A party? Is everybody here? Is this Smash Brothers right now? I 
I'm gonna need you to go ahead, vacate the premises, Radabon. You feeling me, brother? And that doggo is gonna mess you up too. Get the hell out of here. Thank you. Now, I was trying to carve a Gyros that should be around here. What? My Gyros is gone! Thanks, Radabon! What the hell, bro? Okay, not really, bro? Really? Can I just chill for a bit? Like, what the hell? I guess not. These monsters ain't got no goddamn chill. Just trying to chill over here, dude. Roland Grobler, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. May not know much about the Fatala set, but I think the Raging Brocky set is one of the best sets, especially as a gun lens. It's pretty good. It was what I was using before the Fatala set, but if you don't know about the Fatala set, bro, forget about it. Like, listen, Fatala set activates all secret skills every single one of them it also gives you like plus two doll skills or something like that i forget exactly how that works because it's been a long time since i looked at the fatalis set but it's basically like look what the fatalis set does no other set can do okay it's it's literally objectively the best set for about 90 percent of builds there's like one or two niche builds where you don't really use fatalis but besides that it's fatalis set all day every day it's just that simple okay four piece fatalis plus one piece that has a skill that you want or something like that that is what you do oh yeah it comes with free health boost uh th th it's like look what that what that set does it's like it's it's the everything set okay it's that simple what do you think about frostcraft frostcraft oh god damn it i used the wrong thing because I played a little bit of Rise yesterday, and in Rise I have uh, easy ration on the bottom thing. My Rise, uh, my Rise muscle memory just kicked in. Okay, I need to actually look at the map because I don't remember where these stupid things are. I think that they're further high up, but I don't remember where. Yeah, see right here. This is where I gotta go. For Vitalis said, are we talking Gunlance or all weapons? All weapons. It is the best for all weapons. Like I said, there's like one or two builds where it is not the best, and that's about it. When I say one or two, you know, I'm talking, I don't know, maybe five, ten builds, something like that. But you guys get the idea. There's a couple of builds where the Fatalis set is not the best, but after that, it's the best in everything. Wrong? Okay, here we go. Okay, Kagrin. Tell me more about how Fatalis said is not the best for Bo. There it is. The difference is probably like, I don't know, less than 10% in terms of performance. If there even is a difference. Frostcraft, sword and shield is the king. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if you're doing a Frostcraft build, sure. I also did Frostcraft, uh, sword and shield. Hell, I even did Frostcraft... Um, I did a Frostcraft slap lance build, even.
Yeah, see, that's why I gave you guys the exception. There's a couple of builds where it's not the best thing, but for a majority of builds, I would argue over 90% of the builds, it's four piece Fatalis plus a random piece of armor that has skill that you need. Bro, what the fuck? Are we looking at the right thing right now? No, we're not, are we? No, I am. Here it is. I can barely see the damn thing. Someone that has never played a Monster Hunter game, what weapon do you suggest? So, when it comes to weapons, I don't think that you should take like a suggestion like, Oh, go play this weapon. I think the best thing that you can do is you start the game, you go to your box, pick up a weapon that you think is cool, go to the training area, smack the dummy around a little bit. And then like, okay, this seems fun, then check out another weapon that looks interesting to you. Like, check out four, five, maybe even all of the weapons on the training area, and then choose your weapon after that. I wouldn't choose a weapon just like, based out of someone's recommendation. Because basically I'm just gonna say play Gunlance. Gunlance is the best! <laughs> but then you might not like it, who knows. Tangy Tripe! Fantastic, that sounds... Delicious. Happy New Year! There it is! There it be. Let's take a look at our, um... Let's take a look at our farm real quick. Okay, partner. We need to find more of our mystery no weapon is too complex for starters, guys. It really isn't. As a matter of fact, I think that when people say that Charge Blade is the most complex weapon, I think that's gross exaggeration. Like, yeah, it's got a lot of inputs, but... I think Greatsword is harder to play than Charge Blade. Let's do Flying Wyvern Hunt. It's probably the easiest one to complete. Bro, I can never do the limited bounties. This sucks. Can't wait to bounce my ass off of the Pink Rathian. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> Weapons are easy to learn, difficult to master on all of them. Uh, I think there's different degrees of the mastery difficulty. I think that dual blades are probably one of the easiest ones. Okay, that's done. We need we definitely do need to start thinking about high rank armor though. Cause like those that doggo was messing me up. Okay, what else have you got for me in high rank? Bum 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 Googly-eyed green monster, a tingling taste, stuck in a rut. Okay, I think this is, like, gonna be one of the easiest ones to do. But it's not really gonna give me anything that I want. I also don't think that this is gonna give me anything. Well, this completes a quest for me, though. So we'll probably just do this. 
Cunha the Crazy, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate support. Thank you. Hells yeah, the game is beautiful. But do remember, this is not what the game looked like on release. This is with the uh, official HD texture pack, which greatly improved visuals. So there is that. Ah, screw it. I'll just eat this sh chef's... No, 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 no. No, I won't. Screw that. I want health buffs for free! For free! Watching Asmon and this simultaneously? Hi. Damn. Um, bup, 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 bup. Tingling taste. A tingling taste. Are you playing on PC with a controller? Correct. Do you get the visual pack with a vanilla version? Ah, uh, yes, I think so. Oh crap, I forgot to upgrade my Palico armor. I need to craft some new armor for my Palico! It dropped you right into the oh no! Look sharp, partner. Drunk burbs! Drunk burbs are now a thing. Let's follow these gyros. Where are you boys going? Oh, I can't go that way. Man, that's some bullshit. Hey, come here. Don't run away! What the hell? Oh, my triggers are messed up. I hate when that happens. Did their bodies already disappear? Oh no, this one's mine. Crap. Sometimes this controller does that, where the triggers get messed up. It basically puts the trigger into auto-fire. I don't know why it does that. It has something to do with the, um... I'm using one of those... What's, what's the thing called? This brick thing? Can't show you guys. It's the one that allowed... An 8-bit though. I'm using an 8-bit though. And sometimes, for some reason, the triggers go on auto file. Like, guys, want to see? Watch this. I'm gonna press the trigger. See, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. And look at what he's doing. That's why the inputs were messing up there. So what I gotta do now is I gotta turn off the controller, and I gotta resync it to fix the problem. It's a little bit annoying, but it happens sometimes. Asmongold did some off-stream grinding and brought Iceborne. I kind of wish he had stayed with the pure world experience until he was at Iceborne. Because now he's going to have to deal with learning the Clutch Claw, and he's going to be fighting monsters that were not really designed for you to use the Clutch Claw on with the Clutch Claw, and the game is going to just be infinitely easier with wall banging. Which kind of sucks. Personally, I, I wish that he would keep playing without Iceborne stuff. And then when he gets to Iceborne, turn on the Iceborne stuff. That would be my recommendation, but by now, if he's already played with Iceborne stuff, I think his save file is now tagged, so I don't, I don't know if he can just turn it off. Miz and Jamal, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you. So after playing Lance, Gun Lance for God knows how many hours, started a new save and picking up Hammer. Bro, Hammer is awesome, especially with... Um... Give me a second, I need to... Oh, damn it, I haven't located him yet. Hammer is awesome, especially with the Clutch Claw. Hammer is actually one of the few weapons that was like a big W with Clutch Claw. It's so much fun. It is so much fun to, like, friggin' spinning bludgeon into a monster and then ramming him into the dirt. It's beautiful. Damn it. 
Let's just go to base. Pick up some... What? Bro! Bitch, please. Be reasonable. Don't make me kill your ass. Where's my camp? It's supposed to be, like, right here, but... Bro, I never know how to navigate the camp from here. Screw this. Take me there. I'll take you there. Okay, we picked up the stuff. Now let's keep looking. Hello, Mr. Monster, where are you? <clears throat> People appear to be getting triggered over the fact that my files are overloaded. I like to live dangerously. <laughs> Roland Grobler, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Any advice on the Gunlance moveset to get fluent damage? I mean, look, if you want damage... I'm not sure you got the right weapon. <laughs> no, you gotta, you gotta master the, uh, the infinite combo. Infinite combo is basically like you either poke, reload, slam, burst... And then, um, sweep, quick reload again. That's like the infinite combo. The problem is finding openings long enough in the monster to actually pull all that shit off. So it's like, poke, reload, both buttons, goes into slam, circle, full burst, triangle again, sweep, and then reload, quick reload again, and then triangle again, and boom, slam. That's what you gotta do. You gotta master the infinite combo of the gun lance, which is not, uh, super easy on your first time. That's for normal shelling. If you're doing long shelling, all you gotta do is charge shells. Just find, just find the position where you can keep charge shelling the monster and just do that. And if you're doing wide shelling, then all you gotta do is spam circle. Bang, 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 bang. Spam circle until you're out of bullets, and then reload. That's how you do it. Bro, can I find some goddamn tracks on this Gyros? Please! Why is it not targeted? I did target it. Take me to your leader. I believe this is his nest. There should be some tracks around here, no? There we go. There we go. Okay. God damn it. Let me do my thing. Get out of my way. 
Ms. Tommy Giggles, thank you very much for the soul's tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Iricon, big fan. What should I do about friends who never bring life powders? Thanks. Loved your Neko Power videos. I don't play Neko Power. As for friends that never bring life powders, that's fine. Just don't die. That sounds like a skill issue, personally. What the hell? Bro, that damage. Wait, didn't I pick up the goddamn potions? Bastard. Shut up! Nobody wants to hear it. Oh, what's wrong? Aw, he fell. Guys, why did he fall? Stop pushing me! Goddamn gyros being spoil sports. Let's see if we can chop his tail. It's a hard tail chop. That was a clean hit. Wrong, you're exploding, brother. Give me that ass. <laughs> Did you see it shooting off? <laughs> Bitch, I make the rules. You understand me? Me. That's what you get. Bam 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 Great Gyros Fang Great Gyros Hide Where's that ass? That ass! Doesn't he drop wyvern gems? I forget. Can I get a wyvern gem off this ass? Come on, baby! Nope, Great Gyros Tail. Man, these bitches are resilient. Gimme, 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 gimme. <sighs> what does he give us? Piercing pod? Silly fanged wyverns. Brr. Bam, bam, bam. Teach me how this weapon works. Okay. I'm gonna give you guys an impromptu charge blade lesson. Alright? Impromptu charge blade lesson. I'm gonna give it to you on controller, and I'm gonna be using PlayStation inputs. Okay? So if you don't know how to work with a PlayStation controller, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna... It's just easier that way for me. Alright? Okay. Here's what you do with the charge blade, alright? You're gonna go in the training area. Here's what you're gonna do. So, you're gonna draw your weapon as per usual. Your 
first objective with the charge blade is charging your files. They're on the upper left-hand side. You hold down the circle button, which on PC should be whatever is considered. I think it's called secondary attack, right? Let me actually see what it's called. Just out of curiosity. Uh, uh, what, what do you call this? Select menu, increase value. Should be like primary attack and secondary attack, right? Melee weapons. Focus, camera, dash, crouch. Normal attack and special attack. Okay, so it's called normal attack and special attack. It's right click, left click. Bro, this is awkward as fuck. How the fuck are you going to do both mouse buttons? That is so weird. <laughs> That's just so weird to me. Anyway, so circle or right click. And you do this. This is the charge slash. Now, important thing. Charge slash works very much like uh, great sword charges. So that means you have to release it as soon as the charge is done. Otherwise, you get this. A little whiff like... That's weak as fuck. So what you do is the second the charge is over, you release. And you get that. It takes a little bit of practice your first time around, but you'll get used to it. So that is the thing that charges your charge blade the most. Now... Let me just get rid of this charge real quick. Now, the thing is, if you charge the charge blade too much... You see how it's on the red right now? You do one more and... Oh, shit. Now it's glowing. When it starts glowing, you're fucked because you're going to bounce off of everything, okay? You bounce off of the smallest things. Everything bounces off. So when it's glowing like that, you have to charge your files. That is hold down block and circle. That's how you do charge. Red charges all your files. Yellow charges half your files. Okay? So you always, you usually want to take it to red. Charge the files. After you charge the files, you want to load the files into your shield. And the way that you do that is you spam all the buttons. You spam both attack buttons. Your character will do this and then this. And the attack that comes after this is going to be a super amped elemental discharge if your shield is charged. But what you do is you do it all the way and then once he starts the next attack, you hold the block button. So it goes like one, two, three, block, and he does this. So that is an SAD cancel. You cancel it, now your shield is charged, you look over there, the shield is pink. This is important because, you know, having your shield charge, look, I'm not gonna do an in-depth tutorial. Having your shield charge is super important. It's one of your biggest priorities with the charge blade. Okay, just know that. Then you go back into charging your blade. Now, an important thing is you don't just want to do what I'm doing here, which is always doing the charge attack, because in the middle of the thing, you got to get into a flow. So traditionally, what you do is if you don't want to move too much from your position, you do the charge attack, and you follow that up with both attacks at the same time. So he does this. That'll be your follow-up attack before you reset. However, if you don't mind moving a little bit, your default should be charge attack and then a regular attack because this gives you a guard frame. See how you're holding the shield at the end there? That's an actual block. It's called a guard point. So keep that in mind. And then when you have all of your files loaded up and your shield charged, you just spam both attack buttons and in comes the SAD. Hopefully you will, uh, you'll actually aim that better than I did. Now, a really cool tip for Charge Blade is that, let's say this is the monster's head. If you want to position your SAD, like, to land right on top of the monster's head, what you do is you do literally any attack that you're doing, and then you follow that attack up with back circle or back right mouse button or back B on xbox so like you do an attack back wait i took too long and your character will do this and this is the perfect distance to do this usually i was a little bit too close but you guys get the idea you can use that to position that guy's like, wait a minute, you charge your sword! How do you do that? When your shield is charged and you're reloading your files, 
you can hold them in place by pressing triangle. And then you release it. Now, keep in mind that this works very much like the charge attack that you usually have. Wherein, if you hold it too long... <laughs> whiff! It whiffs. Okay? Now, I'm going to reload the shield because it was flashing. Now, let's reload the files. So, you have to release the input at the peak of the animation. So again, you're going to reload, hold triangle, and release. And that gives you a condensed elemental slash, which is pretty good, deals a decent chunk of damage. When you charge your sword like this, you discharge files with your sword, which is pretty cool, which lets you do cool things like you can just stand in the monster's face and go like, ha, 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 ha. ha. Which is like a super fast combo if you don't have a lot of openings and you can't really do SAD. It's like a little in-between type of combo. Now, the other thing is, like I told you, Charge Blade has guard points. Guard points are really cool. The way they work is whenever you swap into Axe Mode, which is by holding block and hitting the attack button. There's an animation in there, and there's another one at the end here. So, like, this is a guard point, and this is a guard point. So that means that you can block, and whenever you block with a guard point, you can instantly go into Super Amped Elemental Discharge by pressing both attack buttons at the same time. So, let's see if I can nail this. Like this. And that's why the Charge Blade is such a brutally satisfying weapon, because you can do all of these really crazy things, and it's a ton of fun. Yami Florence, thank you very much. Been grossing at this for 32 months. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you. Yes, Return to World has been absolutely fantastic. And this is like a crash course in the Charge Blade. If you want more, there's an actual crash course in the Charge Blade here on the channel. And you can go more in depth. But this would be your basics. Oh yeah, just one more thing. If you need to move with the Charge Blade, a really cool way of doing it is after any attack, you can press any direction that you want and circle or right mouse button or the B button on a... Xbox controller, and your character does a slash in that general direction to reposition, which makes the mobility of this goddamn weapon dreamlike, dude. See, when people tell me that Charge Blade has bad mobility, I laugh in their faces, because that's what you got to do. You got to be like, <laughs> bad mobility, brother. I can cross the whole fucking map with this slash, bro. What do you mean, bad mobility? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Skill issue, my guy. Cookie Slayer, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat, appreciate support. Thank you. I'm calling the charge blade is main now and thinks he knows everything. Wada, we all know you learned the charge blade from me. Don't posture. A bigger lie has never been said on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> Wada, you started using the Charge Blade after watching me play it. Thanks for all your For You videos. True. I did have some For You videos. Should I dodge an attack? Um, when should I dodge an attack and when should I guard point? So, that depends on the monster. So if you know that the attack the monster is going to do doesn't follow through, so if it's an attack that you can safely block, you always want to do guard points. If you know that it's an attack like a beam or something that has sustained damage, you always want to get the fuck out of the way. And also it depends on whether or not you have guard up, how much guard do you have. The general rule of thumb is like, if you can't dodge it, block... No, actually it's not like that. The general rule of thumb is, if you can block it, in an efficient way, if you can guard point it in an efficient way, do that. If the block is going to cost you or it's going to make you stagger too much, get out of the way. But yeah, it depends on, a, it depends on so many factors. There's not like a, an easy rule of thumb that I can just like, in this situation you dodge, in this situation you block. It like, it varies wildly from monster to monster. Yeah, the side hop was really nerfed in Rise. Basically, 
Charge Blade and Rise for me was like, you got to have one Evade Extender. You got, like, you got to have... Listen, to play Charge Blade and Rise, there's two things that I need besides the usual Charge Blade skills. And that is, I want maximum Rapid Morph. And I want at least one point of Evade Extender. Maybe two. Although two sometimes also feels overkill. There's not really a sweet spot that I feel I can get to in Rise for the side hop. So it's like, usually I go with one point of Evade Extender. In the beginning, I actually had like three Evade Extender and three Quick Switch, and I was like, this is great, but it's too much. I mean, I always liked Evade Extender in Charge a in, um Switch X, even in Base World. Wait, before I post the quest, I gotta I gotta put another fertilizer. I gotta go take another dump. I gotta I gotta go take a dump over here, boys. Okay, partner. We need to find more of our mystery monsters trail. We, we need to find more of our mystery monsters trail. I'm doing optional quests, okay? Stop pressuring me, woman. Register bounty. P -p 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 Give me more mining outcrops and flora. Let's take another dump. Hey, listen, my guy. Hey. I need to use the facilities. I'm gonna fertilize my crops. Okay. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Now that all that's done. Hi. Do we have any new optional quests? Or not so much. Stuck in a rut. Googly-eyed green monster. I guess we're doing him. We're gonna bust him open. Why not? Wait, we can actually go this way. <clears throat> Elmosu Gaming, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Very recommended skills for Charge Blade and World. There really isn't anything too mandatory besides depending on the type of file that you're using. So if you're using an elemental file, number one, you can only really use elemental files against monsters that are weak to the element. So don't go up to a fire monster with a fire Charge Blade that's using elemental files because that's going to suck ass. But if you line up the elemental weakness of the monster when you're using an elemental charge blade you'll want to max out the element the element of so like if you're using a fire charge blade max out fire attack besides that i would recommend at least a couple of points into guard so that you can uh guard point depending on the monster this can vary between one and three um i think three is like ideal but again it's not mandatory but at least one point in guard helps out so those would be like the two things. If you're using um, a, is it called P impact file? If you're using impact file charge blade, which in world is one of the best ones. If you're using impact files, then you want to have at least three points in artillery. Oh wait, you also need capacity boost. So three points in artillery, capacity boost, or maximum fire attack or whatever element happens to be the one you're using and capacity boost. And then one point in guard. That's pretty much it. Everything else can be whatever the fuck you want. I don't really do evade window and evade extender in world. It's not mandatory, personally. Uh, you also don't need focus. Focus, but focus is another comfy skill. I remember using focus a lot, though. Would you recommend playing Monster Hunter World on PS5 or PC? Wherever you might have friends that will play with you. Hello. And if you don't have friends anywhere, it's it's not really like... The difference is not too massive. You do get better frame rates on PC. 
but if you're playing it on a PS5, the difference is not that massive. So it really is personal preference. And like I said, I would just play wherever there's a chance of playing with friends. Uh, crap. Still didn't upgrade this. Give me a second. I need to upgrade my Palico's armor. My poor Palico is getting, like, murked out here. What do we kill? A Gyros? We're gonna make, uh, Gyros armor. Speaking of Gyros, oh damn, we already have the Odogaron set. That's a lot of critical eye. That's pretty good. Punishing draw and protective polish. Protective polish is also pretty good. Uh, Rex, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Actually, we already have the Radabon set too. Sleep attack, guard. Ooh, guard three. Where's the guard? Where do you have that guard? Gloves, bro, why? Gloves and belt. I can't do that. Belt's got, uh, it's got capacity boosts. Torture! We're actually in one of the more annoying parts of the game right now. Because if you're playing, if you're playing an artillery weapon, this is one of the most annoying parts of the game. Because you're kind of forced if you want to be... You know, if you want to use the skills that you like, you're kind of forced to, um, to play with low rank armor, which sucks. But yeah, it is what it is. I mean, I guess I can forge like a chest piece, a high rank chest piece of some kind. Because like, I don't really need attack boost, it's whatever. Although I can also get two attack boosts. Err. Err. Man, my nose is super itchy today. We got two attack boosts from Bone Alpha, which we can already craft. We got Quick Sheath, Windproof, Paralysis Resistance, Item Prolonger, Sleep Attack, Blast Attack. Now that would be cool. Two Blast Attack would actually be real cool. While we're using this weapon, that is. Can I do another Zora real quick? I think they give you a warning when Zora is around. Because I don't think... I Wait, there might be an event for Zora, actually. If in doubt, take a bite. Bum, 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 bum. Gaze upon the dawn. Yep. I'm gonna do the Zora event with a voucher. Let's go! And then I'll probably end up crafting, like, Zora stuff for the Palico, too. So, yeah, let's go. Where are the stones? Use your slinger to blast them loose. You can do it. Proceed you can do it. You can do it. Destroy the magma cores to weaken Zora Magdros. The success of the whole operation comes down to how much we manage to weaken the turret. Magma core located. Hey partner. All oh, right, I forgot. I forgot that cold drinks are a thing. It's almost like removing cold drinks in Rise has made me a worse hunter when it comes to being aware of environmental effects. It's almost as if it made me fucking sloppy. Look for the next magma 
to the point where I forgot the drinks fucking exist. God damn it. Now you're reaching too much on that route? No. I, I'm not joking. I forgot th that you needed them for Zora Magros. A hundred percent. Did Base World have good options for Slapland sets? Doing another playthrough. Uh, I forget. Was Pickle Base World? It was, right? Pickle's a really good one. If I remember correctly. All right. Hold nothing back. Shit. That one's going to cost me. Ooh, that was close. And also I forgot potions. Fan fucking tastic. Don't I get, like, sent up or something now? I get... I don't think I can reach that one. Right? That's the one I can never reach. I think you might even need a bow gun to get those, but I could I could just be misremembering. Yeah! Boom! Oh, I missed it. God damn it. That one was a little bit faster than usual. I'll be right there, all right? Another one. <clears throat> I'll be right over, boss. I'm doing my best. How do I get out of here? Door's broken loose. That's all right. Hunters, stay focused. You have to drive off Nergigante. 
Did I miss this? It's trying to get up. Brace for the shock. Don't let it shake you off. to get that thing can I not climb up now I wanted to drop the thing on him actually Nergigante is at the top no 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 don't do me like that Zora Zora please Bye, Nergs. I didn't even have to fight him. I thought you had to at least hit him once. Bonk. It's time to go to the head. Wait, drop this. Ah, it's falling on top of me. Bonk. Isn't this the head? Hold your on no, the head's this way. Third magma core destroyed. Carmen Bayless, thank you very much for being Russell and S for 11 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Happy New Year. Your head. Your ass. What's the difference? Wait, that's not the ass. That's the head. Because he's... Unless he's moving backwards... Something weird's going on here. I think his head is underground. Yeah, I told you guys. That was the head. You guys are fucking gaslighting me. I'm not la that lost. Well, I guess I got nothing to do then. Hey, look at the pretty boats over there. Hey, put your head out. I want to crack that core that you have on the top of your head. I should find some more mining spots, to be honest. But I don't remember where they are. Wait, can I go back and can I bust up the place that take goes to his belly? I should have run for that, to be honest. Oh, there it is. This one. No! God damn it. I didn't break it. Over here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's take a look see here. Wait, wait, wait. Push cannon okay. this way. I think this should be enough. All right, fire this. Now let's go for this one. Fire that. And I'll let me aim it here, because that's probably where it's going to be. Now let's go to the other cannon. And there should be a couple of more cannons downstairs. Use all those. Nah, this is good. This will hit him right in his face. Busted up his pretty little head. Yoink! Now we go this way. We can use the Dragonator already? I think they've nerfed this quest. I remember it taking considerably longer. What the fuck? I know that there's an Arch-Tempered version, but like, bro. 
They nerfed the fuck out of this quest. Even the base version used to take considerably longer. Like, for real, they didn't need to nerf Zora Magdros this bad. Like, what the hell happened? People complained there was a drag to finish due to the slowness. Bro! I complained about the fucking wyvern stake and nobody did a damn thing about it. Why the fuck are they worried about Zora Magdros? How many times did I complain about how dragon pods don't work properly with the wyvern stake blast and nobody fixed that? But they have the time to nerf Zora Magdros? Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? Wait, how'd you get on the boat? You jump. You can also take Wing Drake. Motherfucker! That was a fully loaded cannon! What the fuck? This is some bullshit. That was a fully loaded cannon you did right there. What the fuck is wrong with you? Is he doing the head ram? Please do the head ram thing. I really want to jump on his head. Because then I can show you guys something that maybe some of you haven't seen yet in Zora Magdros' fights. Oh, not that. I want the head. The head, bro. I'm gonna go there and probably that cannon will be charged by now. And then we can go all the way to the other side. Look at the other one. Actually, I I noticed there's a wing drake here. I don't know if that wing drake takes her to the boat. I'm curious. Where is the wing drake? Wait, it was over here and now it's not. What the fuck? Why is this a thing? Ah, it's still faster. Takes you to the other side. Perfect. Ah, see, I think it might be the, the first time you do it, he's weaker. This time, he's lasting considerably longer. Uh, this is still on cooldown, right? They warn you when it's not. Yeah, it's on cooldown. These cannons should be loaded, though. Right? Yeah, blast them. I love how everybody's loading up the cannons, but nobody knows how to fire them. Okay. Get me out of here, boys. Did he slam with the head? No. Why are we not getting head slams? Come on, bro, slam. I think I'm hitting too many shots, and therefore he won't slam. Come on, brother. Oh, oh, I think that's it. I think he's doing it. Do the headbang. That's it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I dare you. I double dare you. Let's go! See, this is where the fun begins. Wait. Wait. Can't you jump into his head? What the fuck? How do you do it? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Hey, bro. Now we're gonna bust up this core. Come on, shut up. 
Whoa, 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 don't do it again. It's gonna throw me off. No, 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 we're fine. It's all good. Fuck! Really, dude? That's some bullshit. Fire! God damn it, he actually did it. He actually blasted the barrier defense. Please tell me there's some way to stop that attack. Yeah, you hit him. I mean, I was supposed to break that piece, but it's... It, the pacing of the fight feels really off now that he's been nerfed, to be honest. Because, like, you see how fast that was? I got to hit him, like, twice. Is he doing another headbang? Yeah, he is. Okay. Fucking Rafinos, bro! Get the fuck out of here! Maybe now I'll get to do it. There we go. I'm sorry, bro. It's too e I You don't even get to do the mechanics properly. I wanted to break this. I wanted to break the side section. I wanted to go to the belly. Whatever, bro. Hey, look at that. Another Zora's gem. That's two for two right there. Hells yeah. Take that. We need to find more of our mystery monsters trip. We should check every region. Burr, 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 burr. This was the event one. I mean, it's not the arch tempered, but it's the event one. <laughs> Wait, I can't even upgrade it? That's interesting. Uh, oh yeah, there should also be some scraps now, so I should be able to forge some Palico gear. It's not the best looking gear, but... Rory, how do you feel about the Mountain Wilds probably being better with a bowgun than you? So I guess you don't know that I actually used Bowgun in Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. You think I'm you think I'm gonna actually go melee weapons against friggin' uh Kulf to Roth, bro? Screw that noise. I AFK'd those hunts. I was basically like How No, that was actually that was like a the the quick shot thing, whatever. Ta 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 Ta, ta, ta. I was basically like, bro, when I was hunting Kulf to Roth, you know, after the first couple of hunts, I might as well be in a different room or something. I was just like, pow, pow, pow. Like, I was sleeping, bro. So, yeah, I used the light bowgun. I used the fuck out of the light bowgun. Uh, I want to get this thing. So, we should probably go hunt a Radabon. Mm-mm-mm. mm 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 no, I haven't seen Asmongold fi fight Valhazak. The only Asmongold stuff that I've seen was Rathen and the Baroth. I will be doing the Anjanath maybe tomorrow. But yeah, like I said, I also don't want to make my whole channel just Asmongold reactions all of a sudden. But I will be doing a lot of Asmongold reactions. <laughs> but there will be other content in between for sure. Is sleep better than Paralyze for Palico? Uh, it all depends on what you want. Do you want the monsters paralyzed? 
Use para. Do you want the monsters to sleep? Use sleep. There's no better way. I personally like sleeping because it gives me a break to sharpen. It's more chill. Para is basically like... I look at paralysis as like, oh, it's an opening. I got to attack now. I look at sleep as like, oh, it's an opening, but I get to take a break. I get to sharpen my weapon. I get to, you know, drink some water. I get to talk to chat. So sleep is just way more convenient for me. But people that just want to go, 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 they probably prefer uh, para. And if you're in multiplayer playing with randos, you'll probably want para because most people, if you if you have a bunch of new players, they're probably going to fuck up your sleep. Rui, do you have a favorite hunt in world? I don't know. I'm a basic bitch. I like Rathalos a lot. I just think it's really fun to fight Rathalos. Uh, I also like the metals, the the metal ones. I, I'm I'm a basic bitch when it comes to that stuff. But naturally, you know, actually now that I think about it, I do have a favorite. It's B-52, dude. It's Basel. Basel Goose. And Seething Basel Goose. They're the best. They're the best. It's the best fight. Best monster. Best everything. The B-52. Bum, 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 bum. What was I doing? Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to do... Radaban. Radoban. Stuck in a rut. What charge blade is that? This is Zora's charge blade. Which is one of the best charge blade when it comes to early high rank. Ba -ba -ba. I need to, like, refresh my items, dude. I haven't refreshed my items in God knows how long. Namiel is really good. Namiel is also very good. I love Namiel. No, not that one. Use the other one, because the other one's free. Wait, I'm already at the cap. Dumbass. Look at you with your dumbass. Your dumbass. Look at you. Search for Zaradoban. Zaradoban. See, this I definitely agree that it was something that they needed to make easier to get to. Which I'm pretty sure they did. The amount of footprints that you need to get to Pink Rathian. That I think is a wise nerf because you needed so much more, dude. You needed so much more. It was ridiculous. The amount of time it would take you to get to Pink Rathian. They definitely should have changed that. Which I think they did. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Mm. Get that ass! Bum, bum, ba -da -ba -da. My hilarious that Rurikon likes all the monsters I actively avoid. Nami, while a cool looking monster has hitboxes as bad as Plesioth. No! I don't agree with that at all, dude. As bad as Plesioth? Come on now, be reasonable. Ashfields, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you. Ray, what do you think Monster Hunter Wild's multiplayer will be like? I'm guessing it'll go the Elden Ring route, where it's a single player open world that the players can join a world when you fire an SOS flare. I'm hoping it's 16 player lobbies, to be honest, and players can just go out and do whatever the hell they want. I'm not sure that I want uh, a Destiny type thing, unless that's optional. I think having that as an option would be cool. 
But I don't want it to be the main thing. Here we go with the fucking claggers again, bro. I think that, to be honest, because, like, people have told me a lot I could, in the in the Asmongold video. People were telling me something that I actually didn't really think about, which is the reason claggers exist in base world is so that base world players can play with players that have Iceborne. And I'll be real, I think that makes a lot of sense, but I have a better solution. How about base world, how about clagger doesn't work in high rank and low rank at all, even if you have Iceborne. I think that would make the game better. Straight up. There's the clagger again. God damn, I love this weapon. I'm getting an unhealthy obsession with the charge blade, guys. This is really bad. Did you guys see that? That's right. We don't play. I slid under him while he was rolling, and then we go for the mount. That's how you get it done. That's how you get it done right there. Dumbass. Look at you, your dumbass. Getting that ass. There it be. There it be. Tail chops for days, baby. Anybody order a uh, Radabon tail? Radabon tail on the menu right now? Who's buying? Ow. Ow. He's big mad. You guys hear all that roar? Evans, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Look at that bait. Look at that bait. That's a nice bait, brother. But it doesn't work on me. Oh! Break all the things. Yeah, you better run. Bro, I'm going to put part breaker on this bitch. Part breaker on it. It's happening. We're going we're gonna to go there, team. We're going to go there. You're going to come where with us. How about we report back to the ecological research team? No. I'm having fun. Stop interrupting my fun. An oil shell from a tail? Kind of feel like I got a short in the stick there. Bro, oh, what do what? Where'd you go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cut now, Radabon. I should remake my uh, hunting set, to be honest. Oh, I forgot. I took away my charms. I took away my charms when I loaded my current set. No. Ashfields, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Simple plan, because I'm addicted to you, Part Breaker. Bro, Part Breaker is so good. I love Part Breaker. I don't know how they're... I, I remember the first time I used Part Breaker, and there were a bunch of people, like, telling me, you know that doesn't actually deal damage, don't you? Which is interesting, because when you think about it, that is actually factually wrong. 
because as far as I'm aware, hit zones become better when they're broken, so technically speaking, if you break things faster, are you not dealing more damage? Hmm? Hmm? Think about it. People always telling, telling other people, like, well, part breaker doesn't actually deal damage. It's like, but if the parts are broken, you deal more damage, so... Technically speaking, yes it does. And the best part is because you're breaking parts, if you're in a multiplayer hunt, it deals more damage for everybody in your party. You know what I'm saying? Just putting it out there. Not only it improves hit zones, it reduces the bouncing potential. It is so good on every single aspect, dude. How can you not like it? I fucked that up. I got a little bit too excited and I thought I was going to be able to course correct way more. Bro, come back. I don't want to go there. It's not fun over there. Come here. Take that. And that. And that. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Let's go! No! Slide again. Damn it. These slide interruptions, bro. Rook on GC Dragon's Dogma 2 gameplay that dropped yesterday? Yes, I did. And so will you later today. <laughs> yeah, buddy. It was wrong. It was wrong. Oh no, he's tired. See, this is a regular stagger. People people yesterday were telling me, well, the monsters have always staggered before Iceborne. Yes, but it was a stagger like the one you just saw. A clagger is different because the monster stumbles backwards. It's annoying as hell. Sit down. I'll let you know when I'm done, okay? No! Bastard. What does he drop? Is it thorn pots? Piercing? You're gonna drop something as worthless as piercing, Radabon? Come on now. Kinda regret playing Dragon's Dogma after Monsanto World, after the dopamine inducing crack Monsanto World. Playing Dragon's Dogma felt so meh. I think, uh... I think I'm gonna ban you. You're gonna besmirch the game like that. Is that what you want? No, I'm joking. Yeah, it's not It's not as recent as Monsanto World. I get it, but I still think it's very much an excellent game. Oof. My man's dead. Dead, dead like Zed. Nephile, thank you very much for upgrading your membership to Ironbreaker. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you. Oh, my boy, my pretty boy. Look at him. Look at him. He's the bestest boy. That's the best monster in all of Monster Hunter, baby. Look at him. No, no, no. The best one is his brother, Seething. This one's also very good, though. I really like him. My boy! My boy came to say hi! He came to say hi! What a good boy! He's the goodest boy. There goes my hero! Were you gonna miss the donation from Cypher? Did I miss one? I'm sorry. My bad. Uh, let me see. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Thank you very much for the souls, Cypher. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. And thank you very much, chat, for reminding me. Uh, beat the Angry Pickle yesterday. One of my favorite monsters of all time. I haven't fought him in any other game, but still. 
This set's really good too. Dude, Bickle is awesome. He's a good boy. That headshot SAD was juicy. It was spicy, dude. Spicy. Pep Jewel Meowster Jewel. Made good progress on that mystery monster. Want to report to the ecological research team? Sure thing. It's also a good time to get my snack. Brewery curry with rice or with noodles? Um, here's the thing, right? I've never really... I've never really been a big fan of curry. So, I'm gonna go with neither. Sorry. My mom does a curry that's okay. Because it's very light curry. So it doesn't have the super traditional curry flavor. But generally, I'm not a big fan of curry. But when she does do curry, it's rice. Bro. Mm. Million fold cabbage. I just need a juratodus. Any tips on making fried rice? That's one of the things that I suck at. I suck at making rice. It's always watered down. I hate it. I hate like wet rice. I can't fucking stand it. And that and so I don't know how to do proper rice. Worst part is, my wife for the most part also doesn't know how to do it. My mom's the best. <laughs> but basically, because of that, I usually buy these little... There are these little things that come with, like, pre-cooked rice in them, and all you gotta do is microwave it. That's usually the one that I get, because that way I don't have to deal with making rice. Yeah, I should probably get a rice cooker. That would probably be a good investment. I think those are two things that I need to get from my kitchen eventually. is like a rice cooker and an air fryer. Those sound like really solid culinary investments. Bill Moore, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you. There was a babies and Ojeev and an adult Safi in this game. How about an elder version in Wilds? I would rather see a new monster, personally. Except tickled pink. Wait, I can already do it? I didn't realize you could already do it. What the hell? Fun's keeping you busy. Oh, I, I wasn't even paying attention. I'm sorry. I just got like monster hunter completionist brain right there. Is there a discount? <clears throat> I need to wait for a discount. Oh, there is a discount. Okay. Boys. We're going to spend some zenny. How do you make bombs? What do you need for bombs? 
Forget. Let's fill out the crafting list a little bit. Oh, we need to put some devil's blight in that bitch. Yes, we do. We need some devil's blight up in there. Tons of it. How do you do this? Damn it. How do you swap over to the other side? Switch. You gotta press X. Not store. The other way around. Max out the rations too and max out the honey. Well, I don't want to max out the honey though. Because you can always pick up. Well, we have we probably have tons of honey by now. Yeah, we have 200. I can max out the honey. Imagine using this thing. The fuck? Kind of a sick person puts shit in their bags. What's wrong with you? See a doctor about that. Do I not have... Oh, I was like, where are my flash pods at? Huh? Do I not have max potions? Ew. How many can you carry? Two. Okay. Need to make some more of those. And we've made a mega barrel bomb. We need to make quite a few more of those. Alright, how do I make a large barrel bomb though? And isn't even is it even worth considering? Gunpowder. How to make that? Fire herb and nitro shrooms. So I could make a bunch of bombs right now. Or I could just save this and just buy them. But we don't have that much as any. So I'm probably just going to make a bunch of bombs. Crap, I needed the nitro shrooms to make the mega barrel bombs. Oops. And the worst part is I can't even make them now. Shit. And also, I forgot to come to this guy. Oh, he's not even here now. I need to keep coming back to him. Hmm.
Oh, you can cultivate them. Okay. All right. Now we're going to buy a bunch of barrels. I think we can make like 60 bombs. So I'm going to buy 60 barrels. Make 60 barrel bombs. We're still not going to be able to use mega barrel bombs, but whatever. We'll buy the barrels now. No, not the pouch, the box. Let's just buy 60. Actually, I could have just afforded to buy the large barrel bombs. That was fucking stupid. I had so many nitro shrooms too. Wait, is it nitro shrooms? Is it not like devil shrooms or whatever the fuck it's called? I think it might be devil shrooms. Or the mega barrel bombs. Right? That Devil's Blight. That's what we need. It's not Nitro Shrooms. It's Devil's Blight. Can we do that? Whoa. Yeah. That's what we need. That's what we need right there. Oh, let's make some bombs. <clears throat> Wait, I already have 90 bombs? Stonks. 151 bombs, baby. And I already have Devil's Blight, so actually... <laughs> <laughs> oh yes dude the time has come and so have i okay so what else are we gonna put in here do we have traps? Any trappers in the house? I don't think I have a single fucking trap. That's impressive. That's really fucking bad. Any uh, trappers? We don't have a single one. Okay, let's start by pumping out a bunch of shockies. And some pitfalls. And while we're at it, let's buy a couple of trap tools since we got a discount right now. Little bro! Give me them traps. Trap tools. Yes. Uh, it's not too much. Yeah, give me that. Boom. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Okay, that's good. Let's get the charms up in there as well. Let's grab some... Wait, can I not even craft it? Oh, here it is. Trank bombs. Yeah, we can craft a few of these. That should be enough. We're not going to capture that much anyway. Uh, the, the traps. The capture shenanigans. Capture. This is just in the unlikely event that we need to use that garbage. Uh, and the thing is, we should also craft some more max potions in the event that I actually use them. Bruh. Can I craft nutrients? Yes. Let's not go too hardcore now. Alright, 
I'm gonna avoid using max potions for now. But this should do us. Also, can we finally have like two... Nope. Oh, we can't. What do we even have available right now? Vitality, Gilly, Glider, Bandit. Thunderproof and Cleanser. Meh. I don't care about any of those, to be honest. It's whatever. Alrighty. One of the things that we can also replace right now is the helm. If we can get, like, a good guard helm in its place. So let's take a quick gander at what helms we have available. Just a quick little gander. Let's take a look. A little bit of a look-see. Pros and cons of capturing. The hunt is faster, and you get access to a different loot pool that you don't get by killing. Pros and cons of killing. The hunt is longer, but gives you more opportunities to potentially break parts that you haven't broken yet. And you get carves instead of the rewards. And that also gives you access to a different loot pool. So it's mostly which loot do you want, and are you in a hurry? Do you want to end the hunt fast? Okay, we're not going to be able to upgrade that, but what about, what about our dear Lutemis, though? We just need Rathian shit, bro. We just need Rathian, then Rathalos with some Wyvern gems. So, Rathian and Rathalos need to be our biggest priorities. I want to jump into that Rathian tree. Pronto! Pronto! Taiko! Okay, what else do we need? Steve Lamp, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Health boost is also good. Ooh, Chainmail Alpha comes with one point of guard. Give me. Give me! That's the only reason I was using, um... It's the only reason I was using Baroth to begin with. So nice. Take that. Alright, perfect. So right now, we need to be able to repay, replace... Hands with artillery, which I don't think is going to happen, and legs with artillery. But I think we can get like two artillery on legs when we murder Angie. I rank Angie. All right, looking good. Looking good. Let's go get that tickle pink. Well, tickle me pink. That's lovely. Wait. Uh, do I need anything from down there? No, I think we're good. I need to start, uh, using bombardier food, which kind of sucks, because it means I need to start spending... I need to start spending max potions. We're not at that point yet. I don't think we're at that point. Okay, so optionals is googly-eyed green monster. We don't need that. Tickled pink. Oh, Angie! Perfect! Perfection! It's almost like it's exactly what I wanted. Is it six? Oh, we're in the Wild Spire Waste. I was like, why is six over there? That was weird. That's some weird shenanigans, man. I'm gonna actually pop the voucher right there. Boom, 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 boom. Give me the winter star platter, baby. Well, tickle my toadstool. Thank you for reminding me of that. Well, tickle my toadstool. 
Oh crap, I need to save this before I move on. I almost messed this up brutally. Uh, save this as loadout too. Yes, indeed. Let's head out. Ray, why are you bullying my Anjanath again? Bully whoever the hell I want. Can't stop me. Watch yourself. Bro, not even high rank supplies for real. Not even giving me high rank supplies. What the fuck, bro? Some bullshit. Oh, I forgot to give my Palico the new Radabon weapon. That's the main reason I even did the Radabon hunt to begin with. So busy upgrading myself, I didn't upgrade my poor Palico. I didn't upgrade Gaijin. Wow, really? One hit mount? Careful. Idiot. Bro, that's gotta hurt. And that poison was very inconvenient. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> Oh, yeah. How you feeling, Angie? You feeling good, brother? God, I love that. I miss that. He's big mad now, boys. I can't reach it. It's too high. I think that I framed that actually. I think. Ooh, this is bad. This is real bad. It's real bad, team. Run! Run for your lives! Fuck it. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Not as much as that, though. Oh, come on! The files didn't even discharge. I got robbed right there. Eat this! That's right, bitch. 
mess him up against the wall like a Chad. Excuse me. I need to charge this. Yo, what the hell? Cookies are good? Thank you very much for, for, for the souls. Holy crap. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support, dude. Jesus Christ. That is insane. And you're right, cookies are good. They're very tasty. Thank you so much. So oh my god, the absolute whifferone. Favorite cookie? Uh, digestive cookies. I believe they're called biscuits in the UK. Why don't you settle down? I'ma beat you up with a people's sharpness if you keep if you keep not giving me openings to sharpen. Yellow sharpness is the people's sharpness, okay? Freaking dead angle me all over the place. All right, bitch, bring it. Pussy. You're giving me all this lip and you're limping already, bro? Look at him giving me all this lip. He's like, I'll miss you up. I'll miss you up. Uh, oh, my leg. Oh, oh. Giving me all this goddamn lip and he's limping. The fuck out of here. I was about to hit him with the people's sharpness, dude. My man wasn't ready. He's got a cramp. <laughs> I'll give him a cramp. A good one, too. Watch. I could bomb him again, but I don't have that many bombs to be wasting them like that. Oh, bitch! I'm gonna hit him with the pro carve right here. The pro carve right there. That one was for Asmund Gold, okay? I hit him with the pro carve. I usually don't do that, <laughs> but I used to. Open wide!
Get him, boys! Ah, damn. Did they put his ass to sleep? They did. Now, I'm sorry. I know you guys just helped me out and shit, but... Trust me. We need this, okay? Listen, don't leave just yet. Let me charge up all the way. There we go. Thank you. Your service is appreciated. Godspeed, Spider-Man! See ya! Well, tickle my toad stew. Hells yeah, brother! That's what I'm talking about. An Andronath plate. Out to do the hop. What hop? What hop are you talking about? This hop? You can do it after attacks. It's the same as the regular dodge, but you have to do it after an attack. It only works sideways, though. See, look at this. Charge Blade also has really good finishing screens. They're not as good as the Gun Lance. They're not as good as the Gun Lance. But they're also pretty good. You know? They're all right. You know? Kerpow! 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 What are, ooh, is that health boost? No! No, it's not. Oh, right. I have the attack boost deco that I can put. Can put that on my chest. Still in one piece, then. Glad to see you're safe. Just want to say, wonderful job with the Anjanath. Everyone here is just thrilled. Thank you. Now we just need to decipher this mysterious new information we've come across. Don't worry, we will. Roland Grobler, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Try hard, will you? In the meantime, keep collecting as much evidence as you can. Our research depends on it. So, what is it? We need to find a lot more evidence of that mystery monster. Ba -na -na -ba -ba -ba. Hey, Ooh, new quests. Oh yeah. Ah, we've got the Elder Melder all upgraded. We're not going to be doing a. <laughs> A whole lot of melding in base game because it just doesn't make sense. We'll do that when we get to Iceborne or something. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, there's a quest over by the workshop and a quest over by the canteen. We gotta go talk to the canteen. <clears throat> Warm up my voice. You guys know how it is when it gets to the Meowster Chef. It's that easy. We always have to give it to him. We don't half-ass the canteen, okay? We don't half-ass the canteen, my brothers and sisters. If only I could be so grossly Tick take. Thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've been meaning to spot you, Hunter. I've been meaning to spot you, Hunter, since you be going up against these new monster monsters. The old canteen was starting to look kind of canteeny, and in my house we don't plateau. We make gains. So I did a little flexing, and now the canteen is bulked up with all kinds of new meals and spirits. 
These spirits are puffly strong, so meoderation is key. Drink too much and you'll be one unlucky cat. You interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? Now that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest, chef quest, a rotten request, and we'll get them menu so pumped, you'll get boosted just from reading it. Make it safe so my guys can go out there and get the goods. Don't let me down. Ten gyros? Oh man, that's a problem. I, I, guys, I, I don't know if we can do ten gyros, man. That's rough. Old man, mind your vocal cords, especially when I'm speaking English. It does put a hell of a strain. Not just on my vocal cords, but also on my chest, dude. I've, I've mentioned how speaking English makes my chest hurt for some strange fucked up reason. Hey, you're just a hunter I was looking for. I'm working on a new specialized tool, but I need help with the materials. Can I talk you into making a delivery to the resource center for me? I ask provisions to put aside what I need once the quest is complete. Whenever you feel like it is just fine. We got to go murder Paolumu. I wonder if Paolumu also has artillery gloves in high rank. Wait, 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 There's something that needs to be done. That needs to be done right now. Give me that. Good boy. My boy is all high ranked up. He's better than me at this point. Now, let me see. How about that Anja? Artillery level one or artillery level two? Because we don't have artillery decos, obviously we want artillery level two. But that is going to require going up against another Angie because obviously we don't have enough. We also got to gather more materials, which I've been... Slacking! I've been slacking on that quite heavily, lads. I've been slacking on it real bad. How's this looking? Oh! Well, that's convenient. That's something to consider. We're not going to use that just yet. But it is there. Ah, pig boy mask with the mushroom mancer. Mm, 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 mm. Bum 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 bum. Where's the guard in here? It's in the belt. You get like two guards. Okay. We don't really need to mess with all that right now. One of the most important things now is to get to the Elder's Recess. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Okay, Master Fenster, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Alrighty. That's one attack boosts. Looking good. Looking spiffy. We gotta go look for some more Rathian tracks. We'll do some more high rank optional quests. There's probably gonna be a Paolumu quest now, so we'll probably do that for another tool. Hi. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, optional. <laughs> Chef quest, a rotten request. What a rotten thing to do to make me dream of you. Uh, uh, we could go do another Angie, but we really don't need the Angie thing that much as well. If I just get like a new neck piece, we can get rid of those legs and we might be able to get better legs. 
So this is kind of like, kind of like a bit rough. Kind of like a bit rough right now. Uh, I think we'll do this. I'm gonna do this one real quick. Shouldn't be too hard. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go do I'm gonna go do the canteen real quick. We'll try to get as many of the as many of the stuffs as possible. No, feels bad. Oh, there's a Wyvarian in there. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Aw, uh, don't, don't, aren't they supposed to tell you, like, the usage of weapons and whatnot? Aw. I wanted to know the weapon usage. Rip bozo. My boy's hanging out here. Grab me one. Forget how you get up to the pig. Hence the expression, greedy as a pig. Whatever, doesn't matter. Let's go find them Gyros. Are there any Gyros in Valhazak's place? I guess this isn't where we got a Damantite. I think there's some in the water too, isn't there? Oh, there is. Damantite's probably either coral or some other place. Maybe Wildspire. Probably Wildspire. Maybe even Elder's Recess. Oh, you can't go there until you face off against Valhazak. Okay, I forgot about that. Do you think you'll have saved data transfer for WoWs like they have for some other Monster Hunter titles? You mean across platforms or something? I hope so. I don't know if you will. I would expect it to be cross-play, cross-progression, but you'll probably have to buy the game on the different platforms. That would be my expectation and hope, I guess. Yeah. Looks like Asmongol is going to play Iceborne too. Good. I hope he enjoys it. Where are you going, brother? He had to go. His, uh, his mom was calling him. Need more of those tracks. I would very much like to fight Pink Rathian today. At least make some high rank progress, you know what I'm saying?
Five to go. What's your build looking like? Max artillery, one guard, and everything else is whatever. No, max artillery, one guard, one capacity, and everything else is whatever. we carve just need one more I mean like save data transfer from world to wilds no and I wouldn't want that like I don't want the whole continuation thing unless there's like story implications or anything like that but other than that I don't want that I want a new game that's the beauty of monster hunter is that even though the series has lasted as long as it has you always get a new game when the game comes out that's the beauty of it. Worry which place I like more, Savage or SAD? Also, what are the glaring issues and strengths of both? Uh, I prefer SAD. Uh, I don't think... Uh, it's like... SAD keeps you more mobile, so therefore it just feels more flexible. Whereas Savage doesn't. The advantage is... It's like, look... I'm not a charge blade main, so take what I say with a grain of, with a grain of salt. But I believe that in World and Iceborne, the Savage Axe is probably better for elemental. I'm not sure though. Whereas SAD is usually a little bit better for impact files. To me, it's more like a playstyle choice. It's kind of like whichever one I feel like doing at the time. My main is Gunlands. Why are these guys only blasting for 100 damage? Is this a low rank quest? Savage got more DPS. Does it? For impact? We still need that Rothian. Hi. I'll do this one to see if we can at least get to the, um, if we can get to the pink Rathian. Oh, we already have six ingredients now. Hells yeah. Finally, max stats. Let's go. Let's go. Six ingredients, baby. Let's refresh our inventory because it's full of trash right now.
<laughs> oh, how convenient. Too soon, two shoes, Executus. Bruh. Failed two guard points off the bat. Skill issue. Ah, that's a thing of beauty. Something came off there, buddy. Should see a doctor about that. Don't ask me why I didn't get poisoned. I couldn't tell you. What? No sliding? Come on. What the fuck is wrong with this place? Bro, what? Sit down, buddy. Where's you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Come back here. Next up, the head. We're gonna unload all over your pretty face. SED facial.
my god! Somebody stop me! Did I even carve the tail? Or did I just forget? Did I carve the tail, guys? I don't think I carved the tail. Should have captured more reward. Somebody banned this man from my chat. <laughs> I'm joking. Where am I? Uh, where did I chop it? Oh, here it is. Bro, we didn't get the, the Rathian stuff, though. God damn it. Worry that discharge knockdown was beautiful? God damn right it was. It was a work of art. Are we really going to have to go bully the Angie? I didn't want it to see that. Bada boom, 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 boom. Tail Rider Safari has returned. Bum, 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 bum. You. Can I start sending them to high rank areas? Yeah, this is probably high rank, right? At least I hope so. Maybe not. I don't know, do this. By the way, I can already move to the final suite, but I don't want to do it. Screw that noise. F that noise. Hey, partner. Yeah, this is the best room. <laughs> Hello. Hello, five -er. Waterproofing, wetterizing, I don't have any of those quests yet. No Mushrooms? Mushrooms? Entomology, ancient forests. Boop, 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 boop. Any quests? Any uh, questers? No? Okay. Work on which version of Iceborne to buy? Base version, you don't need the digital version for anything. Unless you're super excited about whatever cosmetics come with a Hi. with a special version. I personally don't care. Feline riser high. <laughs> oh no, drunk burb. Not the drunk burb. Need to gather these and hopefully also find some um, Rathian tracks. That would be very nice. 
That'd be very, very nice. We need Zerathian trucks, please. We could use some Rathian trucks. Wait, I need to go this way. What are your thoughts on the Clutch Claw? I'm not the biggest fan of the implementation. It was fun for a while, but when you start considering that if you want to be somewhat optimal, you have to spam the bitch. It stops being as fun. I'm still gonna do it, mind you, whenever we get the whenever we get the master rank. You better believe I'm wall banging all over this bitch. But yeah, I feel like the implementation could have been better. Oh, come on, give me some tracks for the Rathian. Like, what the hell? Rathian tracks, please. We're looking for Rathian tracks over here. He usually roars so fast. Why do he hesitate so much this time? Come on, no Rathian markings at all? I'm just gonna have to go on a goddamn uh, investigation at this rate. Oh! Alright, drunk barb, no potions. Uh, oh, you bastard! With the goddamn combo from hell. Alright. Alright, brother. I was just trying to chill, but you're trying to be a little bitch. Trying to be a little bitch. Alright. I see how it is. Let me tell you what we do to little bitches. Motherfucker thinks he's still relevant over here. We're gonna have to teach him some goddamn manners. God, dude, this Anjanath is on some crack cocaine. We weren't even in the same zip code as that animation. Did I touch that? Did I actually touch that toad?
damn this fucking little animation, dude. I'm getting really sick of this Anjanat's bullshit. Am I sick enough to the point where I'm gonna use a max potion? I mean, I don't want to waste the damage I already put on his ass. Fuck him. Give me that max potion. Bro, can I get some Rathian tracks up in here? Come on! Dude, he's just getting me all day with these stupid waddle attacks, bro! God damn! Sit the fuck down. I'm taking your ass too. Told ya. Instant turnaround. Oh my god. This fucking guy. With his little waddle bullshit. You gotta be kidding me. Argosi. Argosi. Hey, partner. We are still using one piece, two pieces of low rank gear. So there is that. We really need to replace that shit. Uh, Argosi. Argosi. Uh, the way I see it, uh... Okay, just give me everything. Where are we going? Right. Apparently I unlocked another side quest too. Would that be Toby? If it's Toby, I'm actually gonna get him real quick. Hi. Because Toby is actually gonna be very useful for me. It is Toby. Uh for Toby Camp Eleven, maybe? Thought you were going to the workshop? Why? Are monster spawn fixed in world? No, but there's like higher chances of monster spawning in certain places. He was right there. No, he's actually below us. No, he's above us. Yeah, he was right there. He was probably on his nest. Bro, can I get some of those Rathian footprints, though? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. More of those, please. What? Oh, the head was further behind me.
See, this is one of the things that I don't want to see in Monster Hunter Wilds. I don't want to engage on a monster and him just going, actually, I need to go to the arena, buddy. And there we can fight. So I'm going to roar in your face and run. I'm hoping that's not a thing. Or at least have a more organic way of transitioning it through that. Uh-oh. the waddle. What? God damn, Toby hit me in the back! You son of a bitch! Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That backstabbing motherfucker. Did you see him? Bro, you dirty little bitch. That is such a bitch move. God damn. We can't eat, right? Fucking bastard, dude. Came in out of nowhere and stunned me. I see how it is. Let's wait till I get my goddamn sets made. The fuckers will learn. Dirty little shit stain. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, he's moving over there. Fuck you, Toby. Eat shit. Head positioning. Sit the fuck down. Revenge, bitch! Whoa, 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 what you got? I ain't got nothing, is what you got. Oh my god. That's actually a lot of damage. It's actually, uh... That's actually a lot of damage! If so strong are you, why leave? Wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey, baby. Damn claggers, dude. Sit down, I'm not done. I 
said I'm not done. I don't care about your roars. Fucker backstabbing me while I was trying to beat Rathalos, saving his ass. Rathalos was gonna turn you into a pretty little fur coat. Now I'm gonna turn you into a pretty little fur coat. Dumb bitch. Should have kept your damn mouth shut. Sneaking up behind me and insta stunning me. It's like the dirtiest sneak attack in the book. Dirtiest sneak attack in the book. Thinks he can get away with it. Are the shinies still here? Nope. Rip, bozo. No shinies for you. Costed me my shinies, too. Oh, we got it. Nice. Boom. What does Clagger mean? What is a Clagger stun? So, before Iceborne, monsters would get into a staggered state every now and then. If you hit them hard enough, they get to a point where there's like, oh, and they just like start drooling to like, Ugh. like they're tired because you've hit them a lot. You've burned out their stamina. They're tired. They stagger, right? That's a regular stagger. A Clagger is something that was designed to take advantage of the clutch claw, which means what the monster does is he does that same kind of stagger animation, but he also backs away massively. Goes completely out of your reach because that was the whole point. It's like the monster staggers, moves out of your reach, you clutch claw onto his face, you beat his ass. The problem is that when you're in Monster Hunter World without Iceborne, you don't have a clutch claw. And so when the monster claggers, it just throws everything to the wall and you have to like stop what you're doing and like completely reposition which is is a really weird concept because when you think about it, it's like oh you're doing really well so therefore the monster's going to get this stagger animation but the stagger animation completely punishes you because it's out of your reach <laughs> so it's more like you're doing really well so we're going to give the monster an advantage and we're going to dodge him out of your attacks that's what the clagger is legend mills thank you very much for the souls tip of the hat appreciate support thank you Clagger should be removed from the game. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. Let's put it like that. Hi. Oh, wait. I got to report to the chief ecologist. Burr, burr. Burr. Like I said, Corbin, what they should do Ready is take Clagger away Clagger? from low rank and high rank. That way, Iceborne players can still play with world players, but they can't abuse the Clutch Claw to just destroy monsters that were never made with the Clutch Claw in mind. Because, like, monsters in low rank and high rank already have, like, piss-poor health levels. So, it's like, when on top of that, you... You give them the Clagger animation, and if somebody has a Clutch Claw, it's just weird. Over here. Ah, just what I was looking for. Members of the ecological research team have pinpointed whatever it is that made those strange tracks. It's in the Coral Highlands. Once you're ready, sign up for the quest. I need our hunters to ascertain what we're up against. <laughs> is it something bad or something worse? Whatever it is, we're going to have to face it eventually. That's what we do here, after all. Sign Except old world for monster it's in new world. Bum, 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 bum. What you guys want? Which, which one? Which one? Okay, Grand Gajal Whisker, and that will give us more food. Okay. 
Any more quests? No? Good? Okay. It's time to finally go do Pink Rathian. Pink Rathian is usually a significant... If I remember correctly, at least it was a significant step up. Can you even clutch claw behemoth? I should have gone with the voucher, but eh, it's fine. Bum ba dum ba dum bum. Bring it, Rathian. Clever girl. Ooh, the pro roll. Don't worry about me. I'm all right. I don't want to mount her yet. Now we want to mount her. Now I'm gonna get that ass. That was pathetic damage right there. What the hell? <sighs> Didn't mean to do that. God damn it! Getting stunned by the leggy to get hit by the pink Rathian, really? Whoa, 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 bro, 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 chill. Somebody tell that bitch to chill. She was getting a little bit too eager there. Oh god! Bro, my luck is not on par today. Holy crap. Where's that piece that she dropped, though? Wait, what? It's already gone? God damn it, I don't want this.
Bro, that tail is not coming off. Oh, god damn! Oh my god, this leg Yana, bro. This leg Yana is asking for it. She's just asking for it, dude. I've had about enough of your sorry ass. You're gonna learn not to interfere with my hunts, you understand? You're gonna learn today. Yes, you are. The day, Legiana, the day you learn. Gentlemen, I'm going to thank you in advance for your cooperation in charging up this, uh, this charge blade. Thank you. wrong oh you don't want to play anymore that's what i thought bitch oh she's gone down there oh well that's too bad I'm like, yeah, I saw that one coming a mile away. That one was a little bit dirtier, but that's fine. God damn, this leggy is not learning. This leggy's got to have, like, a learning disability or something. Oh, crap. Not the waddle.
people sharpness. Tired? Good. Goddamn Clagger, bro! Clagger denying me of the full SAD. Oh, good, 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 good. Flasher. Flasher, bro. Do it. Oh, looks like we don't have to. Maybe we do. Alright. Do it. Do it. Fly away. Do it. Oh, he flashed her. He did. Good job. No! My files! The people's sharpness! Go on, do it. Run. I dare you. I double dare you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bro. Oh no, she fell over. Here, I'll help you get up. Get up again. I'll be right back to carve that ass. I'll be right back to carve that ass, baby. A spike on high rank, it's not as bad if I remember. No, wait, it's a spike plus actually. Shit, that's really good. <laughs> Carving a spike out of that ass. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, we only got scales out of the rest. <laughs> Pretty weak sauce. Pretty weak sauce. But hey, what the hell? We've got the bot, the bastard. She's down. Which is better, capturing or carving? Whichever one you feel like doing. Depends on the materials that you need. Me, personally, I kill everything and I carve everything because that's the way you do it! That's the hunter way! You kill! Are we men or are we mice? Aw, oh, this is really bad for Matt's. <laughs> Rip bozo. No plates, no nothing. That's really bad, bro. It's really bad. It's really bad. Some bad mats. Ooh, look at our boy picking up all this extra shit. Good job, buddy. Good job. Vitality? Nope. <sighs> God damn. Valinov, it's not higher rare mat drops it is different material drops never thought we'd find her in the coral highlands it takes a small combination of miracles for a subspecies to emerge at least that's what the scholars said all the same she's in remarkable condition i like the detail that it shows you how many things you part how many things you break? I might know where that is. Yes! Admiral! Admiral! <laughs> At last he returns. 
I've been enjoying watching your exploits. Fine work, I must say. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Would it have killed you to help instead of just watching? What for? You seem to have it covered. <laughs> Here, I brought you some souvenirs. Elder's Recess, baby. Interesting. Where'd you get them? You know where you drove off, Big Ugly? Well, there's a spot further in there. <laughs> and it's just loaded with these things. They're incredible. It's like there's this energy pulsing inside them. Wasn't just me, then. Ha. <laughs> I'll wager they tie into this whole thing we've been studying somehow. Well, I intend to find out how. Raise your hand or paw if you're with me. Any of these jaggy brains up for a challenge? <laughs> these two. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, you two. See you on site. I'll be at the tunnel. And don't you keep me waiting. I hate waiting. Have fun. <laughs> Don't die up there. All right, partner. Time There's been a Devil Joe sighting. <laughs> We're in the proper high rank now. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, team, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave you now because I need to take both my kids to jujitsu training because my daughter has also started training jujitsu. <laughs> I'm going to teach her to break everybody's arms and legs if anybody tries to put their hands on her. You understand? Anybody puts their hands on my daughter, she's going to tear you apart. She's going to be learning jujitsu at five. She's going to be a killing machine. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me. Uh, there will be more Monster Hunter tomorrow. We're going to be streaming it again. Uh, before you leave, though, let me leave you guys with a little special something. I mean, you know, I'm not just going to, like, leave you guys with nothing, you know? So, if you guys were asking me yesterday about the Dragon's Dogma 2 gameplay, here it is, right here. Go check it out right now. Like it. Do all of the things. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while we're playing Monster Hunter World. More Monster Hunter World tomorrow. Probably a bit of a longer session as well. So, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you all very much. And I'll see you guys later. Alright, subscribe, bell notification icon. Hit the like button, all of the usual stuff. Enjoy. Peace out.